Hi guys, welcome back. This is part five. In part four, we built that door. And in this part, we're going to attach the door to the wall. Then we're going to attach the wall to the house. And then we're going to build a ceiling and finish up the walls. What I decided for my doorway was um, some spackling. I think it's also called drywall compound. I think it's the same stuff. The stuff that you fill in um, holes on drywall. And the only issue with this stuff here is if you bend this, you can see it'll crack. And all I did was, I didn't do it on film because I honestly didn't think I was going to be using it. I didn't know how well it was going to turn out. So I just took it and spread it on like this, all around. And then I let it dry. And then I painted it with my acrylic craft paint. Alright guys, I lost a clip so I have to, to make up one here for the lost one. So on my door, you know, the round door goes behind the wall like this and it opens like this. So when I touched my hinge, I just used my, my glue stick really and ran the glue along the front part of the, of the hinge. So this part was hanging over. And I put it on my, behind my wall, so the part that's left over is what I hot glued down to the wall. So I put hot glue underneath this part here, and then masking tape over that. Now obviously on a door that would be opening and closing all the time, even though I added some stock board behind the hinge when I made the hinge, remember, it could wear out, so I wouldn't rely on that for a heavy used door. But for the purposes this is serving, it's going to work out well. I'm just going to attach those hinges with a bit of hot glue. Okay, so I just put some hot glue on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some masking tape over each of them because if they at all get heated up they will melt and then they'll fall off. So I'm just going to Put my masking tape and that will hold them in place if the glue ever melts and then they'll harden again. So I could leave it like that. I don't have to worry about using any other hinges. The masking tape works well. Okay, I'm just going to put another piece there. Alright, so now we're going to attach it to the top of the stairs. I know this is a bad angle, but I'm just going to get this in place and then I'm going to turn the camera so you can see better. So I'm going to hot glue it in place just so the hot glue holds it in place for me. It's like a second pair of hands here. And I'm going to add more material around it once I get it in place. I'm going to put some tape there. along the bottom as well. Okay, so that's going to hold it in place for me while I build up the walls and stuff around this area. So I'm going to be putting tin foil and then more material up around that door. Alright, so my door is there. Now I'm going to see this big piece here. I'm going to mold it into place here. And I can't do that on film because it's it's just way too difficult. All you're going to see is my hands. So it's going to start back here. So a piece of it's going to come right back here. I'm going to glue it and tape it in there in there and then up along the ceiling. And then I'm going to cover it all with masking tape. So I'm going to do that off film because it's just way too difficult and that's all you're going to see is just my hands in the way. So and I'm sure none of you are going to be doing this this anyway. I'm just trying to document how I'm building my house. So this is how I do it. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't make sense, but in the end it all comes together. I got my ceiling attached and now I'm going to cover it all with masking tape. There's all my masking tape has been applied and I applied it up here as well and back here. Even though we're not going to see this part 
I still want to cover it and add to the strength of the ceiling. So now I'm going to do a layer of paper towel dipped in glue. And I could use newspaper. I could definitely use newspaper. But I'm just used to working with paper towels. So I'm going to do it that way. I need to cover up my stair so the glue doesn't drip on there. And I'm going to cover up here with paper towel as well, even though we're not going to see it. Like I said, I just want to add to the strength of the piece. Alright, my paper towel is now drying. And I just wanted to show you back here. This is how I did things in the gnome home too. It looks like it's not very stable when I attach something. But like I said, I worked the material into everything that I'm doing. So like building blocks again, everything is kind of overlapping each other. And this is, is going to be very in place once this paper towel dries. So it's been hot glued and then a layer of masking tape and then a layer of paper towel dipped in glue. And again, I could have used newspaper for this part, but I just prefer paper towel. So I did the ceiling as well. And it wraps around this floor up here. So now I'll set my fans on this and let it dry. Okay, so I've tilted my house back because there's so much shadow you can't see, so I have to tilt it back. The ceiling is done. So after that paper towel was dry, I spread this stuff all around it. And I was worried about it cracking, but actually I've been moving the ceiling around a bit and no cracks. So after that, this stuff was dry, then I painted it. So once my ceiling was um, done and I was happy with how that turned out, I decided to cover my wall with this stuff as well. Once it was dry, I gave it a coat of this regular craft paint, it's just a cream color. Once that was dry, I sealed it in with this stuff here. And I usually seal all my walls in with, with a Varathene. I like the, um, the finish that it gives, and that's easy to wipe off as well once that finish is on there. So if there's any dirt or anything that gets on the walls from whatever reason, I can just wipe them clean. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here, and you can head on over to part 6, where I'm going to show you how I built the frame for this door.